and they only put out a couple of albums. I don't even know if these guys are still alive or what they do. Is but. this not a mashup? That's their original beat. That was it. Daft Punk that used that. Yeah, Daft. Everything Daft Punk did, they grabbed from somebody else. Okay. But the, yeah, the band was called Breakwater. All right, well, I thought that. I thought that was a uh, DJ Cumberbund. No, uh-uh. that's just there. No, that's a great beat. Nope, that's the uh, original song from the probably '77 or '78, something like that. Uh, Guardians play tonight, MLB opening day. You'll see young Bill Squire all decked out in Guardians gear. That's right. And um, <clears throat> it's a late game tonight because they're starting uh, off with four against the Mariners in Seattle. That is a 10-10 first pitch. As I was putting together our brand new metal show, Corey goes, hey, isn't Saturday a late Guardians game? I go, God damn it, because I was just putting the finishing touches uh, so uh, two hours to midnight will be preempted this Saturday night because the Guardians Mariners game begins at 940. Uh, it is one of two times during the regular season that will be preempted uh, to, uh, this Saturday and June 17th. Uh, we will not be uh, doing our two hour metal show because of a very late West Coast Guardians game. So you also have to be prepared for. Cavs playoff games that might get in the way, too. Cavs playoff games could be in there, too, but that is TBD. So as far as Guardians go, we're only getting uh, kicked off twice. So That's not too bad. That's fine. Whatever, right? I, I only had it all laid out and I'm ready to perform it for everyone, but uh, what do you want? That probably didn't even take you that long, and you have nothing but time. You're always talking about how you always just have <laughs> so know. much time. Hang out, You're so hard around. to like, give me another show to do. You know, it's a classic case of be careful what you ask for because I've been pitching a metal show since I came to MMS, and Rob Anthony finally signed off on it. And I'd envisioned it like, hey, I'll just play some rock and roll songs, man. It was going to be a colossal pain in the ass. I shouldn't say pain in the ass. It's just it's a, it. it's a lot that's going into it that I hadn't accounted for. And whatever, who cares? <laughs> At the end of the week, uh, still a very, very happy to finally have two hours of metal on MMS. Just not this week. It'll return Saturday, April the 8th uh, for two hours. I mean, be careful what you wish for. When we fired a bunch of people in like 2019 or 2020, uh, I went to our then program director, Jason Carr, and I was like, hey, just so you know, I know we just got rid of a bunch of people anyway. I can help out. I'd love to help out because I knew that we had fired a bunch of on air people. So I was like, I'll pick up another day part. I can, you know, do whatever. I come in early, stay late. And that's when he gave me the task of massaging the logs mm -hmm. for a year because mm -hmm. I was like, no, not not clerical work. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Well, how this. are you going to help them? I know, right? I was like, well, I was thinking that maybe they needed like on air help on different stations. So I was well, like, well, they yeah. have professional people to do that. I understand. That's why I'm I was like, yeah, how to massage the logs. Mary was massaging Jason Carr's log for a while. Yeah. And yeah, he was year. our COVID <laughs> program director. He didn't really. Um, uh, uh, just through no fault of his own, he ended up being the boss when, like, everyone was gone. It was a mess. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think halfway through, he's like, ah, I want to go home to Florida. And that's eventually what he did. So I was like, yeah, however you need help. And he's like, how about data entry? And so that's what I Yeah, because he was running, like, nine <laughs> radio <laughs> stations. This poor son of a bitch. Stuck doing that for a year. Yeah. Massaging the logs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm learning yeah. how to massage the logs. Yeah. Uh, a little inside baseball there. The music logs, the it was just music logs, right? Not spot logs. You have to massage spot logs. I had to massage all of it. Traffic department. Oh, no, really? Yes, I had to make I'm sure that. I had to massage the logs. I thought it was just music no, logs. No, that the commercials were in at the right time, the right day part, the right person, no double uh, nah. back to back stuff, moving things in and out of spot blocks. <laughs> yeah. It was awful. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, I probably threw you a couple extra bucks, right? Of course, raised my salary. Gave well, no, me but you get like insurance. extra hours, no. right? What? No, remember, because I kept well, Why coming... didn't you say no when he said, help me with this? Because I was getting extra hours at the beginning. I was able to stay after our show for like two hours a day. So I was getting like an extra 10 hours a week. Um, and then corporate was like, hey, this part-time employee is working over 29 hours a week. You got to cut that out. So then he started making Hey, knock me... it off or yes! we're going to have to give her benefits. That's exactly what it was. We so don't then... want to give her insurance or anything. Mm -hmm. So then for the next like six months, he was making me do it in our commercial breaks. So I would leave our studio in the commercial break, go into a production studio, do that. Why didn't you just say I'm not going to do this anymore? I d multiple you didn't times have to do I it. I said I don't like this. This is not good. 
well, you know, you'd really help out. It really <laughs> take a lot off my shoulders, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Try to be a team player. Uh, he guilted you into it. <clears throat> and then finally, Keith Kennedy was like, stop doing this. Like, because I, ba- I was coming back late to uh, our breaks and things like that. And Keith was just like, absolutely not. You do not have to do this anymore. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't know it went to that extent. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Well, I'm learning how to massage the law. Listen, you were uh, you were eager, you were new ish. Yeah. And uh, you know, trying to be nice, trying to help out in what uh, had proven to be a very very difficult time. Right. You know, so. when it was basically us and Jason at the radio station right. through COVID. Be careful what you wish for. Right. Now, does this uh, perhaps, because he did go back to Florida, he's a big VP down there in his home area in Florida, and um, did that spur you to maybe hit him up and go, hey, just for old time's sake, do you have any logs down there I can massage? Absolutely not. All right. Yeah, but if you could go massage the logs in Florida and make that your full time. Well, no, gig. you'd be doing them from here. Yeah, no, you'd probably but, uh, have me log in from. Yeah. No, you gotta say I want a job down there. I would like to come full time yeah. massage the logs in Florida. Yeah. I would Leave like my to... entire life behind. Yeah, I would like to move. You love Florida. I do love Florida. I don't love Florida more than my boyfriend or his kid he or loves, this job. Not <laughs> yet. Um, yeah. Uh, would you be willing to relocate to be a log massager? No, it was honestly. What the if most... it paid double what you were making? Stand up and. Uh, comedy together. Right. He goes, we're going to pay you 24 grand to right. come down here <laughs> to Florida to be a log massager. Well, I will say this. That was the most, I don't want to use the term depressed lightly, um, but I've dreaded coming into work because I hated, it was data entry. It was, I, I hated it so much. It made my eyes hurt. I wish it I'd known boring. this because I would have gone to Jason pointless. and go, yo, I, I can't have Mary coming onto the show being depressed every single day. Right. The, the, well, save well, that I mean, for when my dad dies. From that. <laughs> yeah, from that. From that. That's from right. That, yeah. I, I don't need If it's some, her life, that becomes part of the show. Right. But I don't need it's... outside forces <laughs> throwing more logs onto that fire. Right. If you'll pardon the pun. No, I really, really hated it. So they'd have to offer me, like, for me to quit stand up and everything, I'd have to make, like, $3 million a year to do that. $3 million. It was, <laughs> it was $3 million. I, Okay, an appropriate laugh. Well, my point is, if I do not. So much props. I do not know how people do data entry eight hours a day. I It is mind-numbingly boring. Yeah, they go home and drink heavily. Oh, my God. It was like, this seems so pointless. And the fact that there is no computer program that can do this for me. Like, there's all the technology we have, and you can't find something in the computer to do this. You want this. to know the bitch of it? What? There is a computer program. I'm sure that there is. <laughs> but you were looking to get extra hours. And then they took the extra hours away. That's right. So they stuck it to you. For me to have to do something like that for eight hours. Of course we have a hours, program that can do that. Eight hours a day. I'll boot it day. up right now. This is the Log Massager 5000. <laughs> I just plugged it in. Look at that. Done. Listen, AI would have uh, taken over eventually. I wish. But for me to do something that I disliked that much and also give up the jobs that I do like... You'd have to pay me an exorbitant amount of money. Powcake, would you relocate to be a highly paid log massager? Yes. For okay. how much? Well, because he'd throw in an air show f- shift for you. You he, would just have to. Did. That huh? Was, that's, that was when I started doing my uh, pride guide. Well, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, you, yeah. Um, you'd go down there and do that. Yeah. Well, I we was should in, talk to him. I'm in Florida in the nice weather, a bunch of men. And you mean to tell me for eight hours a day, I got a massage. Massage the logs. Yes, you're I, sitting I, in front of a computer doing sun- data entry. Okay, well, eight hours a day. But do I have to be professional? Like I could come in with my sunglasses on, put my feet up, well, have, no, have a smoothie. Well, that would be just- remote work. Yeah, you could probably oh, find a way that- to do it from home Absolutely. or do it from the beach, homie. Absolutely, in I would Florida. Do that. If I if I got paid a uh, uh, how above- much? Hundred grand. A hundred grand. Uh, yeah, I would totally do that. Move down to Florida because I'm a single guy. I don't have any kids. Uh, I don't have anything holding me back. Absolutely, I do that for hundred thousand dollars, and I just massage some logs on on the beach with the mimosa. Absolutely, it's remote work. I can't tell you how like doing my morning job from home. Yeah, that's what he does in the morning. I can't there. tell you how convenient that is. Like I Good can't. For you. I'm the sucker that was like driving into work every day because I just I felt like I had to. I, I felt more professional driving into work, like going into my office. 
and you know, setting up at my desk, I just felt like that's what you had to do, and that's what I had been doing for you know the the five years that I've been there. But once I was like, oh, wait, a minute, I can just do this from home. I wake up, get up, you just like pour my coffee and sit at my kitchen table. And, like, do the same job I was doing, and no one bothers me? Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. if you're single, I don't know why. Given the option, if you're single, I don't know why anybody wouldn't do remote work. I, saying, I could do boring work for, you know, a, a bunch of money. Like, when I'm off, I'm off. I will get drunk. I will get lit. And as long as, yeah, I could do that. Listen to my music. Okay, but there are also, the difference is, Bill's original question to me was, I wouldn't be able to do anything else. So I couldn't do radio busy. or stand-up. I would do that for, it would have an expiration date. I but would, what I'm it, saying is you don't have something that you're giving up like that. You don't have a stand-up in your life. No. I'm, no, I'm, but he, you, you're not going to. If he said I couldn't do radio for those two years, like I'm just doing straight data entry, I would do like a year or two years and just stack my money. because No, I would you have, don't get a timeline. This is your job now. You have to give well, up no. being on air. How much Wait, would it forever? cost? Why forever? Not forever. Well, that was what Bill posed to me. He said forever? Until he didn't you say forever, but he said forever. you have to Everyone give it up. Well, well, yeah. At the same time. You can't do them at the same time. And I would say, yeah, I would do this. I, If he needed a commitment of like two years, I would stack that money for two years. I don't have any other bills besides myself. All so, right, Mary. What if you could still do stand-up, still travel because you can do it remotely? Mm-hmm. Uh, but you still but I'm not m- on air here anymore. I'm not on this show. You, you, you still got to massage logs for <laughs> eight hours a day. So I have to massage logs for eight hours a day. I'm not on the show, but I can work remote. I can work from home. Yeah, and do stand-up. So. All and remote stand-up. Do stand-up. It's all Zoom stand-up, though. Oh, God. I'm learning how to <laughs> massage the That's worse, logs. That's worse than stand-up. not doing stand-up. Uh, yeah. Would you rather do all Zoom shows or all college shows for the rest oh, of your Oh, my career? God. The college shows pay better. <laughs> but I might kill myself. Yeah. The Zoom shows, at least people The Zoom shows the pay references. zero. The college shows pay really well. Let's right. see. Hmm. What would I do? Why do you not get paid for a Zoom show? You're still giving people content. No, I'm saying they don't get, they don't pay as well. Oh, Nothing oh, pays as well as colleges and corporates. Okay. But, um, like, each college gig I do, I make the same amount of money that I make in a month on radio. Well, I didn't so. think anybody was getting paid for Zoom shows. Oh, no, it is. I thought it, people were just clawing at the walls to perform, and so no, they- There are some people that set up pretty In the legit. height of them, um, yeah. yeah like there was, they, like, almost, like, online comedy clubs. There was some shows where I made over, like, 100 200 dollars. I think you have made like four or five. I made four hundred dollars on one because people yeah. were uh, buying tickets and yeah. then they would get sent a like private Zoom link. So when oh, you paid your ten dollars, then you got this Zoom link essentially like a comedy club, mm-hmm. but just from your couch. Were right. they in and the they tip and stuff like that yeah. too? Like it was, yeah. were they in the metaverse? No, were they in iHeartland <laughs> with Roblox? <laughs> Roblox, oh, I love it. Boy, how would you like to become a meme in real life? Does anybody follow John Heyman on social media? No. He is a producer for Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. And he posted a thing that was quickly, quickly deleted. And I, I just, I guess, happened to see it. A lot of people did. But it came across my timeline. And I was like, really? Because I didn't know this. He posted a photo of Larry David at the monitor and says, maybe you love the show. Maybe you hate the show. Maybe you don't give a shrimp. In any event... We're shooting the last scene of the last episode of the final season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. And people are like, yeah, nobody has said anything about that publicly, whether or not that is the case or not. Oh, that it's the end of it? Yes. The upcoming 12th season of the show might actually be the last one for HBO. What a wild run for Curb Your Enthusiasm, a show that he didn't want to do, just like he didn't want to do Seinfeld. On longer than Seinfeld. I mean, 12th season, but the show has been on for 20 years. You go back and watch season one of Curb Your Enthusiasm, Larry David looks like he's 14 years old. Right. And it's so funny because he looked old. He looked old the whole time. Always looked old. He just looked a younger version of old. old. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to watch that show, and I got like- It's not for everyone. Seven or eight episodes in, and I was exhausted by it, where I was like, this is this. I'm watching the same episode over and over again. And I kind of got, honestly, I kind of got like that with- um, uh, 30 Rock too to the point where I wanted to watch 30 Rock all the way through because I had heard such good things about it that I would limit myself to like three episodes in a row because any more than that I would lose interest and I like couldn't pay attention and I felt the same way well that's why with they have come out once a week Curb Your Enthusiasm no they're all out oh I guess you mean like <laughs> at the time yeah, yeah you had to watch yeah. a week to yeah. week and now everything's back to that mm-hmm. streamers now are just like cable television you gotta wait week to week to watch things I got a 
bunch of stuff building up. I have a couple episodes behind on Ted Lasso and The Mandalorian. We just started Ted Lasso because Gwen's like, I want to let three or four of them yeah. build up. We, we we only waited until two of them built up. But No, I'm weak to – I'll watch The Mandalorian. I don't like that because uh, that's – I love that show. So. I love that show, I but I just haven't had time to sit down and watch it. So maybe Sunday I'll have time. Maybe Monday. I don't know. You think Alan's busy. I start, I, I start watching it when I can't sleep, but then I'm, like, frying my eyes with my phone in the darkness, which has just got it's got oh, to yeah. make you go blind after a while. No good at all. One of the best things, I got these sleep headphones for Christmas for me and my girlfriend. So I can just turn on my sleep sounds, have a pitch black room, and I've been sleeping so well. Like full on headphones, or I, was like, I they, can't sleep so, with headphones on. But they're well, sleep but they, headphones. Gwen has like one of those head wraps with the earbuds in them. That's is what it like is. One of, yeah, yeah. and, and that doesn't hurt your ear to lay no, on it. No, because it's like soft. But are you a side sleeper? Yes. Oh, so because that was why I I like sleeping with head like yeah noise 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 on, but not like because our house is silent yeah. and it's almost creepy how quiet it's it too, is. Yeah, yeah, but um, like I can't wear summer, any kind of headphones. Like I can, it's nice in the summer because I can sleep with the windows open and you, you can, can hear, hear the, the lake, yeah. and that's amazing. But that's you know <clears throat> when it's twenty five degrees outside. It's, yeah, right. It's too cold. But uh, yeah, they're they're padded, and you just put it on like a headband, and you can sleep in them. See, I have. I love it. I I wear a full on motorcycle helmet. I got mm-hmm. like a Scorpion R one Evo, and go. it's got. The uh, speakers in it, and so a I'll VR sleep with that. Screen in front, right? No screen. Oh, no, 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 just audio. But I sleep in my motorcycle helmet. Do you also sleep in chaps, Mary? That would be ridiculous. Oh, sorry, sorry. That would be <laughs> so weird for me to do that. Now, we talked about them uh, Jurassic Parking a woolly mammoth, you know, extracting DNA and seeing if they could resurrect it. Apparently, there's a company that's kind of done that, but they've just turned it into meatballs. And uh, But the scientists are like, they can't figure out who's going to draw the short straw and try it. Mm. They said technically it's not fit for human consumption yet. Technically. But they've resurrected. Yeah, there's a, that word's doing a lot of heavy lifting. They've resurrected the woolly mammoth in lab-grown meatball Ew. form. The woolly mammoth meatball. See, these are going to be more and more important the closer we get to extinction. We want to Jurassic insecurity. Park, and we're just getting meatballs. Mm-hmm. But these if- are cells that are often obtained from an animal and then grown. We can take a, an almond-sized, about the size of the tip of your little finger, we can take that small biopsy from an animal and then produce enough food to, to feed cities and countries. Mm. Dodo nuggets were actually, when we set out on this journey, was actually the first idea that we had. We pivoted to mammoth because there's just more information uh, known about it. God, I hate that that company is Australian. Mm. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Aussie Mayor here. We got mammoth blood <laughs> and we made it into meatballs. No. And I hope that you all enjoy it. You can oh. eat it with some rice or maybe a beer. You can maybe even have a little LaCroix with a little, a little soda water. Pop that in, put it in the microwave, maybe you have some marinara. It's really, really good. My daughter plays Minecraft pretty frequently. She's gotten amazingly good at it, as every kid does at some point. They have a Minecraft phase, and they just go nuts. But she'll watch a couple. She she has gone through a couple of different streamers on YouTube who will post Minecraft videos, and the one that she's on now is this screaming Australian kid. He's oh, just no. always <laughs> yelling. I'm like, oh my God, you've got to find somebody quieter who does like Minecraft tutorials and things like that. He's. Just, I'm like, why is he always screaming? Always in this thick, loud Australian, oh, in my own home, my home <laughs> where I sleep. I pay for this home. Where I come to play with my toys. Can we hear him? Uh, yeah, EY stream, I think it, or it's. I don't know if it's I stream or EY stream. I don't know. He's like, I, 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 I. I'm like, oh, Jesus, what is he yelling about? My secret base, where I keep every illegal item on the server. On EY, leave the server, and your loot shall be mine. <laughs> but I'm using the world's most confusing optical illusions to make sure he's. I thought he said moist. Oh, it's yeah. the worst. Most confusing. Moist. Shame if someone just got some TNT, some flint and steel, and destroyed your way out of there. Okay, it's not looking. And light it up, baby. Fly through. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I'm like, we got to get the hell out of here. 
we took away um, Blake's YouTube because she was acting up in school. So she got her YouTube taken away. And even just hearing, because she would listen to stuff like that all the time, just screaming from her toy room. And listening to that 